Welcome to Storytime with Miss Shantae here at Maynardville Public Library. And today we are going to be reading a book called Rules of the House. And it is written by Matt Burnett and Matt Myers. I think you're going to enjoy this. So let's get started. Follow the rules. Brush your teeth. Make your bed. And never, ever open the red door. There's the red door. <gasps> ah! Iron always follows the rules. Here he, it, here he is following the rule. Always pack a toothbrush. Rules are meant to be followed. Aaron would always say because he meant it. Aaron's older sister was Jenny and she never followed the rules. Here she is breaking the rule. Don't pinch. Jenny pinched me, said Aaron. No, I didn't, said Jenny. Don't tell lies, said Dad as he pulled up to their vacation house in the woods. That is a very important rule. The house in the woods was tidy and warm. The living room had a pot belly stove in the den, had a bare skin rug, and the bathroom had a claw foot tub. Aaron thought it was great. Best of all was a framed piece of paper in the hallway that said, The Rules of the House. Look, said Aaron, rules. You're such a toady, said Jenny. And then she pinched him. Ouch, said Aaron. You're not supposed to. Ouch. Aaron drew in a deep breath and read out the rules with gusto. <gasps> the rules of the house! We trust you will respect the house by observing the rules. Remove your muddy shoes before you enter the house. Number two, don't leave a ring around the bathtub drain. And number three, replace any firewood you burn. And number four, never ever open the red door. Signed, the management. Everybody got that? said Aaron. Yes, Toady, said Jenny. Ouch! said Aaron. During the day, Aaron and Jenny and Dad did the forest thing, like hiking. Aaron kept to the marked trails. And swimming, Aaron waited an hour before eating. And climbing trees, Aaron climbed no branch higher than his head. But this is not a story about the forest. This is a story about the house. Because of course, it wasn't long before Jenny started breaking the rules. She tracked mud all over the rug. Her hair wrapped around the drain. And she loved to roasting marshmallows, but never gathered more wood. There she is sitting on the wood box, and it's empty. Jenny, said Aaron, you're breaking the rules. Aaron, said Jenny, I wish you would disappear. Aaron pointed to the paper on the wall. You've already broken rules one through three. So what, said Jenny. It's not even our house. Doesn't matter, said Aaron. Rules are rules, and rules are meant to be. Listen, Toady. Jenny moved towards the red door. 
if you say that one more time, I swear I'll open this door. Rules are meant to be... Jenny turned the knob. Aaron shouted, Rules are meant to be followed! Jenny slung the door open. <gasps> oh no! What's gonna happen? Oh! Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. Just in the room. Until at night when everything's quiet the rug was the first to knock on the bedroom door <laughs> my beautiful fur is matted and muddy he said who broke the house the rules of the house we did, said Jenny. Liar, said Aaron. It was only her, Toady, said Jenny. The rug smiled and said, I will have this rule breaker for my dinner. Not so fast, said the tub, leaped into the room. I have a taste of her hair and I'm hungry for more. I will have this rule breaker for my dinner. But what about me, said the stove. My belly is empty and there is no wood downstairs. I will have this rule breaker for my dinner. Those terrible creatures stepped closer and closer. Aaron knew just what to do. What would you do? <gasps> he grabbed his toothbrush and he ran away. Serves her right, thought Aaron as he ran through the woods. She should have listened, thought Aaron as he jumped over roots. After all, thought Aaron as he ducked under a branch. Rules are meant to be. And Aaron stopped. He scratched his arm, the one that usually got pinched. He decided, even if there wasn't a rule that said, Always save your sister from being eaten by monsters. Maybe it should be there. When Aaron got back to the house, the creatures were all in the kitchen. The tub and the stove boiled some water while the rug chopped aromatic vegetables. Mmm. Rule breaker soup. Rule, they sang. Rule breaker soup for dinner. It wasn't a very clever song, but the tune was catchy. Rule breaker soup for dinner. They belted out in three-part harmony. Aaron rushed into the kitchen. Stop, he said. Don't eat my sister. But Aaron, said the stove, she didn't follow the rules. Yeah, but, Aaron said, but. It was then that Aaron realized he didn't have a plan. If you want to eat my sister, you'll have to eat me first. Brilliant. The monsters wouldn't eat him. Aaron always followed the rules. You think they'll eat him? Let's see. <gasps> okay, said the stove. Let's eat him fast like an appetizer. Apparently, there was no rules about who monsters could eat. The creatures drooled as they drew closer. Aaron backed against the wall and banished his toothbrush. Da da da! The monster stopped. What is that? asked the rug. 
that red thing in his hand. Aaron looked down. It's a toothbrush. A toothbrush? Asked the stove. What's that? You use it to clean your teeth after you eat, said Aaron. Don't you guys have a toothbrush? No, said the tub, looking very solemn. We have never seen one before. Aaron laughed. <laughs> You're going to eat us and you don't even have a toothbrushes? You're supposed to always pack a toothbrush. It's a rule. It is asked the tub. Yes, said Aaron. You broke a rule. You're a rule breaker. We are, asked the rug. What's going to happen to us? Aaron remembered his father's words. Don't tell lies. Then he forgot them. Oh, man, said Aaron. Oh, man. Oh, man. When you, when you break the toothbrush rule, very bad things happen. When you break the toothbrush rule, a huge monster comes for you. <gasps> How big is the monster? asked the tub. As big as you three put together, plus a little bit. Oh, my, said the stove. Yes, said Aaron. The monster has long hair and green eyes and sharp pink nails. And it creeps up behind you and gives you a pinch. Aaron, said the rug, what's a pinch? Aaron nodded at Jenny. This is! And Jenny pinches him. And Jenny gives each of the monsters a good hard pinch from behind. Ouch! cried the creatures. They fled down the hall and through the red door. Aaron and Jenny slammed it shut behind them. Oh! Thank you, said Jenny. You're welcome, said Aaron. You lied for me, said Jenny. So, said Aaron, so isn't that against the rules? Don't be a toady, said Aaron. Jenny pinched him, but it didn't hurt. And that's the end of our story, House Rules. Always pack a toothbrush! Have a great day. Bye.